hi everyone and welcome to my channel it's me yuli hi and welcome to this um, journal flip through video if this is your first video of mine you're watching hi welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you four of my completed journals um so let's just dive into it this journal is um i don't i didn't know what i was doing in this journal anyway i used this in 2016 um yeah i just this is just a plain black a5 journal from fabriano which is i think an italian brand um and when i got it i was like kind of clueless about stuff like paper quality or stuff like that so i remember i just like picked up the most random journal back in 2016 um, I used to have like an Instagram account where I post a lot of journaling content and that's why you might see like a watermark on some of the pages. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Anyway, um, that's a bad drawing. Anyway, um, yeah, my, many of the spreads are like inspired by Pinterest and other journaling accounts I used to follow, you know, back in my days. But, you know, I was kind of clueless about what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. So it's just, I didn't do this drawing anyway. Uh, it was just kind of like very random, um, yeah, I'd call this like a sketchbook more than an actual journal, this wasn't like a journal where I used to write every day, I just used to like draw or sketch, you know, if you want to call it that way, um, yeah, I wasn't good or anything, but I did enjoy it a lot, so, you know, that's good, that works fine. Um, yeah, but I haven't looked into this journal in like years like I did these pages and then I didn't really go back to them So this me flipping through this journal was my first time looking at them after like four years So yeah, I'd say my style has changed a lot since here since this journal and it has changed Throughout this journal like I can see some sort of difference between the first spreads and the last ones uh yeah but i used to enjoy drawing a lot i don't really draw anymore uh, anyway now just because you know i don't like it that much anymore but i used to be into drawing and like i remember i used to like save um pictures of other people's drawings from pinterest and try to like recreate them or recreate like spreads for my instagram account i don't know why i just had like zero inspiration of my own so i tried to like i don't know copy or i like get inspired by other people uh so yeah that's what this journal is about it's not really anything new like yeah it's just like random things you know um this is one of my first journals that i ever completed um i remember i used to do like a lot of studies like I studies body studies especially toward the end of this journal um yeah i don't really do those anymore but like i still enjoy what seeing them from like the past you know i don't draw eyes as much as i used to um i don't draw anything as much as i used to but yeah i think it's nice to go back and like see what i used to be into years ago even though my style has changed a lot since um yeah anyway this journal is like i don't know mediocre kind of thing i didn't really write a lot in it i just like randomly did stuff so yeah anyway i don't know what happened with the camera like i don't know why the bottom of the journal is like cut out so please bear with me uh yeah so this is just like a ton of drawings that i did for absolutely no reason but yeah i mean this journal was a mess but still it was my mess you know so it's nice to see what i was up like four years ago which is a long time ago so anyway next up it is this journal this is a bit uh this one is a bit smaller than the other one and i remember i got it when i visited the pompidou center is that how you say it in paris which is like a museum i really recommend that if you go to paris it's like a huge museum and they have like this gift shop i always buy something in gift shops like always so that time i got this journal and this journal is from like 2019 so we're like jumping forward like three years and in between 2016 and 2019 i didn't really journal a lot but in 2018 i want to really get back into journaling that's why i bought this journal um, but the only supply I had was literally like a black pen. So that's what you see like the 99% of the time in this journal. Um, yeah, so you know. 
uh, eye journal on another journal. I feel like I'm saying the word journal like so, so many times. But before this journal, I had another one that I used. But I used just like, I don't know, it was just very random. But in here, I tried to do like some writing, like way more writing and creative writing. I remember I used to go like on Pinterest and I looked for like journaling prompts or I used to watch uh, YouTubers I talked about different things you can write like different ways you can fill up your journal and that's what I use like I literally journaled about anything I could find um, so yeah I really wanted to get back into journaling but at the same time I didn't really buy a lot of supplies because I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it or not. So I just didn't really buy anything. I only had my black pen. It was just me, my journal, and my black pen against the world, I guess. Um, yeah, so you know, this journal includes a lot of writing, which is very different from the previous one you've seen. Um, yeah, this time I was already not really into drawing eyes or bodies or stuff like that anymore. So, yeah... It's just a lot of writing and a lot of drawing made with a black pen. And um, this this is like a picture I took with um single use camera, is that how you say it? I don't know. But like I used to love writing. I mean I used to write a lot. I still write a lot, but this was just like a lot lot. So yeah. I journaled about every kind of topic I could find. Anything. And so yeah, this is really what it is. Um, yeah. Towards the end, I started to get more conscious that this journal was being a little bit too plain for my liking. So I just started to include, like, more pictures, some, like, journal cutouts, I call them, I don't know, from, like, Vogue and other magazines that I had. But, yeah, like, most of the times, all you see in this journal is black. So... It's very different and also it's a line journal. I don't really like line journals. But you know, to get back into journaling, it was still great. I wouldn't use a line journal now. I mean, I just finished a line journal. It was like a pain. Every page. And I just wished it was over. And when it was over, it was like such a relief. But you know, back then, it didn't really matter to me. Because all I did was writing. So like a line journal was fine. I didn't really decorate my pages a lot. I mean, I did some, like, random doodling, but that's all I did. So I didn't use either stickers, washi tape, stuff like that. I didn't even have them. So, you know, this journal is kind of crazy. It's kind of all over the place while being very simple. So, yeah. I mean, I, th I still think this journal is a little bit better than the previous one. Just because I it actually has some content, like some... The previous one might be like a sketchbook or something like that, but oh, well, like 90% of the content was copied from somebody else, so it doesn't really have a lot of me in it. It just has a lot of me trying to impersonate somebody else or like trying to not steal, but like copy somebody else's work, while this journal was just me and my own words. Even though the prompts were given to me, I didn't come up with like this prompts or anything, but still it was, it, they were my words in this journal. So, you know, I like this one better. Anyway, I love the cover of this journal, really like it. The quality is not the best, but the cover is very nice. So yeah, this journal, I completed this journal last year and this was such a disappointment. I got this in Flying Tiger. I don't know if you know Flying Tiger, just like a very popular shop, I think. Anyway, I got this journal and I did my first spread, which I actually liked very much. But as I flipped the page, all the pages kept like falling off. And like at some point, all the pages had fallen off the journal. And it was just like, what? So I just had to like do my spreads and then tape every single page back into the journal which was fine at the beginning like it was bearable but then after a while it started becoming a pain because the pages were like all crooked and they weren't aligned which is something i can't stand so it was just like the huge huge mess i think i used this in december last year but i could be wrong anyway i don't dislike this journal and the size was nice and i wanted to try brown paper journal but just Every single page is taped, like, I think you can see the tape. 
Every single page is taped into the journal because it was falling off. I don't know what was wrong with this journal. Just like it was such a disappointment. So yeah, these are some, some stickers from AliExpress, by the way. This is my last journal from this video. I completed this like two days ago. I think I started this the day of my birthday, which is May 17th. Yeah, 29th of August. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, I got this journal gifted to me from my host family when I was in Ireland for my birthday. And it's not really my style. Uh, but yeah, so I cover the cover had some like mermaid stuff in it. So I just covered it. Anyway, this is a spread for my birthday. I really liked my birthday. I was supposed to go to New York City for my birthday, but I didn't go because, you know, coronavirus. So I stayed home and it was actually not that bad. It was actually nice. Um, So, yeah, you know. You have to do what you have to do, and these are just some ra random pages. I don't even like this journal. Like, I don't like lined journals. That's all it is. So, my style. You can see my style has changed a lot, like a lot, lot, and just like lined journals don't offer me the chance to be a hundred percent creative with my journals. I just feel limited, like very limited when it's a lined journal. So you know. Uh, yeah, so these, these are just some like random pages that I did. I wanted to fill up this journal as quick as possible. Like, I got it gifted to me and I started using it as soon as I got it. And I felt bad if I wasn't going to use it because it was a gift from my host family. But at the same time, you know, not the best journal. I did this with my host kid. Oh my god, I miss her so much. Aww. Anyway. These are just some like random writing. I do write a lot now. I don't really write about prompts as I used to. I just write about my day and I have some, I do some like rants or whatever, just like, you know, random things that I journal about. Um, yeah, I also use like a lot of pictures. I print them with free prints and at some point I had like a lot of pictures, so I just use them. And I use, you know, receipts or packagings or tags, whatever I have. So, you know, this journal contains a lot of memories. Um, I think I like it better that way. I mean, I used to like the sketchbook one and I still have a sketchbook that I started during quarantine. But I promised myself that I was I wasn't going to copy other people's thing. I was just going to come up with my own drawings. So that's what I'm doing that journal and it's taken me a long time just because it was easy to go on Pinterest and just like screenshot or save pictures from other people and recreate them but this time I have to come up with my like my own ideas so that takes a longer time. Anyway I still have a, a sketchbook which is separated from this journal and I also have a k-pop journal which I'm gonna be finished soon I guess not that sure though uh, which will be my second completed k-pop journal. And for all my journals and sketchbook, I promised myself I wasn't going to copy other people's spreads because I think it's, like, useless. I mean, you can do it the first times. And I think somebody told me that you can do, like, the first times just because the first times don't have your own creativity and your own style. But after a while, you know, I feel, well, not confident, but, like, I'm sure I can come up with something from my own imagination, you know? I don't need to, like, copy other people now. Anyway, this is my mess, 100%, so, you know, these are just random things during quarantine. I think these are, like, my first times that I went out after quarantine, and I got, like, boba and stuff like that. Um, That's a boy with my older host kid. Oh, I miss her, too. Anyway, these are, like, the first times that I went out after, you know, the whole lockdown situation. Um, this is me and all my old kids. I used to take care of three girls. Um, yeah, I mean, I like to go back into my journals after, you know, years and look at what, what is inside. Just because it reminds me of what I used to be, uh, what I used to do and all that. So, yeah, I remember these days I was working a lot. So I just, like, pre-decorated a lot of my pages. So I could just, like, every day go in and write without having to, like, decorate all the pages every day. Because I didn't have that kind of time, you know. And so whenever I had some like day off work, I used to decorate um a lot of pages so you know they were ready to be written in. Um, this one I returned to Italy. I think I did. Yeah, I did these pages in Italy because I was back from Ireland. Um, this is just like a random page of when I went out with my friend after like six or seven months, six months. I don't know. Anyway, just like a very long time. 
um yeah so this is like my summer and just me writing about life and about my day what what I do in my day or just stuff like that I don't really know what to write about when I start writing in my journal a lot of people have come to me and say that I do write a lot and I think I do write a lot like even in my k-pop journal I do write a lot inside um but j- that's just how I am you know I like I don't like to talk like talking right now like for 15 minutes in a video is hard but like writing 20 pages like it's no big deal for me so you know so this is the end of this journal it took me like i don't know three months to finish it yeah i can't do my math so anyway these are journals for today there are four different journals i'd say so yeah thank you so much for watching like and subscribe okay thanks bye